of days ago, we had 23 degrees. It was absolutely beautiful. Spring was here, birds were singing, sun was shining. We came out for a little coastal stroll. 27 k's we did, which was fantastic. We walked along the river stock banks, which run along the Tuki Tuki River, a great little place. As we're walking along, minding his own business, no thoughts of taking any photographs, we spotted this little gap in the fence and in the, in the weeds, the brush, and uh, it's a van. It's an old van. I have no idea, I've, I'm not a mechanic, I'm not an automobile expert, I just know it's an old van. I wouldn't have a clue what sort it is. But it looks, it looks awesome. Straight away I was taken by it. I've started a little project over the last uh, month or so using the Bronica ETRSI. And it's, it's all about me, me being a van liver, a van dweller. When I'm travelling around, I see some amazing old buses and old vans and, and I just love them. The, some are in paddocks, some have been neglected and, and derelict like this one. Others have been used and loved and, and used as homes basically. And uh, I, ju I just love that. There's some beautiful old colours in them and, you know, some have got sort of stoves in them and uh, chimneys coming out the top. Yeah, they're just glorious. So that's, that's my little project that I'm working on. The ones that I see and the ones that I like, I'm going to shoot them on, on the Bronica and uh, I think it's going to make a nice little collection. So this, this is going to be part of that. Uh, like I say, no idea what sort of vehicle it is, but uh, man, it just looks, it just looks so cool just sat here. Uh, so I thought I'd chuck a roll of Hector 100 into here, into the Bron and uh, see how we go. The idea was to come down at dawn and get a couple of shots and hopefully the sun was going to come up and just bathe this beautiful rust bucket in golden, golden light. But unfortunately, like I say, 23 degrees the other day and uh, yesterday it, it dropped down to 12. It was, oh man, what a drop. Uh, we had some heavy rainstorms come through. The weather's breaking now. Unfortunately, the, the storm front is going off to the east, which means... We're not going to get any morning sunlight. And I managed to get a, a bit of a rainbow that was uh, forming over the other side of the van. So that, that made a nice shot, I think. Who knows? It's on film. I won't know until I get it back. And then we got a little, a little slither of sunlight coming through. And it just lit up the van. I think I might have got a shot that uh, works quite well. I've just been playing with the light. Playing with the light meter. And this last shot I took, it was f11, 60th of the second. And that looks quite nice, actually. They've got quite a lot of detail in there. Love it. Absolutely love it. Anyway, guys, that's, uh, that's just short and sweet from uh, this morning's little shoot. Absolutely loving using this Bronica ETRSI. She's an old friend and she's back from, uh, back from cold storage. Loving it. The 50mm lens is, oh, it's just, a, it's just a dream lens. It's just absolutely glorious. I've got another lens in the van. Uh, for the Bron, and that's a 75mm 2.8. Not needed it yet, not even got it out, not, not put it on. I used to use that a lot back in the day for weddings. That was more of my standard lens, actually, for the uh, for the weddings. Used the 50mm for sort of group photographs, but not so much. Now, for landscapes, oh, she's coming into her own. She's a beauty. Anyway, guys, listen, thanks for sticking with this, thanks for watching. Hopefully, there'll be a nice photograph at the end of it. If anybody out there knows the vehicles, knows what knows the vans and the vehicles, let me know what that thing is, apart from an old rust bucket. Cheers guys, from New Zealand, catch you later.